I find myself thinking about it almost every day. I am so incredibly lucky to have experienced this. It's definitely changed a lot of how I think and how I act. I'm 17 and I'm in high school. So, you know, the obvious questions that are on my mind is, you know, what school do I want to go to? What do I want to study? What am I going to be doing for the rest of my life? <laughs> it's a little bit daunting. You don't exactly know what you want to do or how you want to do it and, you know, exactly what life holds in the cards for you. I mean, sure, it'd be cool if you knew exactly what you're going to do, but, you know, then where's the adventure in that? And I'm just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen and then how you're going to react to it. Because that's really all you can control is how you're going to navigate things. Going down a river is kind of like an allegory for life. Like you don't, you don't know what's around that next bend. You don't know what's gonna happen. All you can control is how you're reacting with everything. When you first start in the Grand Canyon, you're kind of overwhelmed by just the natural beauty and just being completely emerged in this immense thing. It's just getting kids out of their comfort zone and exposing them to new experiences and new people. And it's that magic that happens on a trip where you become a family. It's not for at-risk youth, it's not for wealthy youth, it's for any youth, because any youth can benefit from a river trip. That's the goal, is how do we inspire curiosity about the place and about each other.